Um, there was an error and it got cut off. So we're going to just continue. So there's two videos this time. So it can't be zero because we can't divide by zero. The domain when you divide the numbers x for which g of x is not equal to zero and that are in the domains of both f and g. So the domain of f of g is all numbers x such that g of x is not equal to zero and or intersects domain f intersects domain g what they have in common so let's um, do some of these problems some examples so here are our two functions that were given f of x and g of x and we want f plus g of x so we're, that's f of x plus g of x equals 2x minus 4 plus negative 3x plus 6. So f plus g of x equals negative x plus 2. Now, are there any radicals or denominators? No, so the domain of this is all real numbers, the domain of this is all real numbers, their intersection is all real numbers. So the domain is from negative infinity to infinity. F minus g of x. So f of x minus g of x. Remember your parentheses. So 2x minus 4 minus negative 3x plus 6. Distribute. Plus 3x minus 6. 5x minus 10 is f minus g of x. Same thing, they're all real numbers for both of them. So when you subtract, it's the intersection. And so the domain is all real numbers from negative infinity to infinity. And they're parentheses because you can't include infinity. Multiplying f of x times g of x equals 2x minus 4 times negative 3x plus 6. So there's four multiplications. 2x times negative 3x is negative 6x squared plus 2x times 6 is 12x plus negative 4 times that is plus 12x. Negative 4 times 6 is negative 24. So we get negative 6x squared plus 24x minus 24. And the domain is, once again, all real numbers. f times g of x. This one we're dividing. It's f of x over g of x, where g of x is not 0. So it's 2x minus 4 over negative 3x plus 6. So the denominator negative 3x plus 6 cannot be 0. Move the 6, divide by 3, x can't be 2. So it's going to be the domain is x such that x is not equal to 2 because that makes g of x zero. This is f over g of x. 
And you just leave it like that. Then they want the value, they want it to evaluate it at one. So you have two ways to do it. You can take this and do negative one plus two, which is one. Or you can substitute it into here and substitute it into here and then add them together. You can do f of one plus g of one. f of one is two times one minus four and g of one is negative three times one plus six. So two minus four minus three plus six, negative two, negative five plus six is one. So it's easier to just substitute into the original, but just know that you can have that option to do f of x plus g of x, f of one plus g of one. So if we're gonna put in one into here, we're gonna do five times one minus 10, five minus 10 is negative five. We're gonna put negative one into here. Don't forget your parentheses when you substitute. Negative squared is positive, so it's negative 6 minus 24 minus 24, minus 24 minus 24, negative 48 minus 6 is negative 54. Or you could have substituted into each one and then multiplied them together. This one is going to be 2 times 1 minus 4 right here over negative 3 times 1 plus 6. And we get 2 minus 4 over negative 3 plus 6, which is negative 2 over 3, negative 2 thirds. And the last problems we're going to do today are two new functions. Find the following and determine the um, domain in each case. So it's f of x plus g of x. So it's 1 over x minus 2 plus x over x plus 4. We need a common denominator. So we're going to multiply this times x plus 4 over x plus 4, which is the denominator of this one, and x minus 2 over x minus 2, which is the denominator of this one. We get x plus 4 plus x squared minus 2x over x plus 4 times x minus 2. Keep the denominator factored. So we get x squared, we have 1x and we have minus 2x. So we have negative 1x. plus 4. So x squared minus x plus 4 over x plus 4 times x minus 2. And that's our solution. And we want the domain, so x plus 4 can't be 0, or x minus 2 can't be 0. So x can't be negative 4, or x can't be 2. So you write in set notation, the set of all real numbers x such that x is not equal to negative 4, and x is not equal to 2. 
for B, that was A, for B we're subtracting 1 over x minus 2, f of x minus g of x, minus x over x plus 4. We need a common denominator, x minus 2 over x minus 2, x plus 4 over x plus 4. We get x plus 4. Then we have x squared minus 2. but it's subtracted over x plus 2 times x plus 4. So then we, we simplify, we get x plus 4 minus x squared plus 2 over x plus 2 times x plus 4. Is it x minus 2? I wrote x plus 2. x minus 2. So here we get negative x squared plus x plus... Oh, this is an x. So it's plus x plus 2x. Is 3x plus 4 over x minus 2 times x plus 4. And then we do the domain again. x minus 2 can't be 0, and x plus 4 can't be 0, so x can't be 2 and x can't be negative 4. So the domain is x such that x is not equal to 2 and x is not equal to negative 4. And then for c, we do f of x times g of x, which is 1 over x minus 2 times 1 over x plus 4. Oh, it's x over x plus 4, so we're going to get x over and keep it factored so we know what the denominator can't be. So that's the answer. And we get the same denominator um, values that we can't have. So x can't be 2 or x can't be negative 4. So we get the same domain, x such that x is not equal to 2 and x is not equal to negative 4. And then for d, division, f over g of x equals f of x over g of x, where g of x is not equal to 0. So we get 1 over x minus 2 over x over x plus 4. And when you divide, that's the same thing as multiplying by what? The reciprocal, multiplying by the reciprocal. So I flip this over, x plus 4 over x times x minus 2. So x can't be 0, and x minus 2 can't be 0, so x can't be 2. So the domain is x such that x is not equal to 0, x is not equal to 2, and don't forget g of x. What can't x be in g of x? Negative 4. x is not equal to negative 4. That's from g of x. Can't be 0. g of x can't be 0, so don't forget that part. So your homework, number 10, 2.1, day 3, page 56. Is 8, 9, 12 to 14, 51, 53, 55, 56, 60, 61, 66, 67, 
69, 73, 77, and 79. So that'll be due um, next Wednesday, which is the, I believe is September 2nd. Have a good weekend.